I don't mean this <clears throat> as an attack on John Piper personally, but when you use the term oxymoron, emphasize the moron. John Piper is somebody I have never had a high regard for doctrinally or theologically. He's immersed in the false beliefs of Calvinism. Secondly, he became the promoter of Rick Warren and Rick Warren's antichrist agenda in the American Midwest. And the agenda of Rick Warren is an antichrist agenda, a global peace plan where we have to unite with people who worship other gods, Hindus, Muslims, Buddhists, whoever, to bring in global peace. This is the antichrist agenda of Rick Warren and Rick Warren's ministry is promoted by John Piper. John Piper also has gone into mysticism and Gnosticism with Beth Moore. You can watch him on YouTube leading the Lectio Divina, the visualization techniques with Francis Chan and so forth. This is deception. This is counterfeit spirituality. Have nothing to do with John Piper. He is additionally replacement theology. He does not believe in the prophetic purposes of God for Israel and the Jews involving any national restoration to fulfill prophecy. He is essentially replacement theology, supersessionism. If somebody is into replacement theology, if they're a supersessionist, they're fundamentally misreading the word of God. There's a lot of error with John Piper. I do not say he does not say true things and he has an appeal to certain kinds of people. As a young believer, I don't expect you to understand these things and neither does God, more importantly. But my best advice to you as a young believer and my advice to any believer is have nothing to do with John Piper, nothing. He's Lectio Divina, he's Rick Warrenized, he's replacement theology, and he has the errors of Calvinism. Keep away from him. My name is Jacob Prash. Thank you for your question. Blessings to your friends. Greetings of Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Morial catalog on the Morial website, morial.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon, and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. First being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church, Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo, Harpezo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available in the Memorial Catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available.
electronically by Kendo. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless and Jesus be with you. Thank you.